Hi. <laughs> Hi, hello everyone. Good morning to you and yours. Happy 2022. I pray that this beautiful year will bring us everything that our heart desires in Jesus' mighty name. It's a beautiful feeling, I mean, to have crossed from you know 2021 into 2022 i mean like i always say some years come and when they come it always look like we pray for that year to run out and the moment that we keep on praying oh god we want this year to run out we want to i mean everything that has happened in this past year i mean we just want everything to go with that year and we want to step into the new year and have at the back of our mind that once we step into that new year you know, things will change without being intentional with walking with Christ. Then it will just be the same old story. So I would like to, you know, indulge everyone that as you step into this new year, be intentional with Christ. I mean, I know we have everything that our heart desires deep down, but let us walk for it. Let us pray for it. Let us be intentional with it. I mean, let's not just blink. I mean, what is regarded as the year 2021 let's also check inward and see what are the things that i need to change what are the steps that i need to take what are the levels i need to attain what are the companies what type of company should i keep what are the knowledge should I, what type of knowledge should i gain all of these questions are the things we should ask ourselves how close how, how close should i be to christ how more close should i be to christ how much should i love him all of these questions we should ask ourselves before we start making those new year resolution and for those that have made their new year resolution i'm sure a whole lot of us has done and we've written our you know our prayers and our plan i pray that as we've written this we we'll walk intentionally with our intentions towards achieving it with the help of christ in jesus mighty name amen Welcome to 2022. My name is Okwe and yo, this is Across the Atlantic Ministry. Uh, this video is just to share the word of God. I mean, inspire young minds, old minds. I mean, inspire, every, inspire everyone. It's a message for everybody. And um, I pray that as I share the word of God, um, Holy Spirit speak through me. Let it be you speaking through me. I do this for you to increase. Um, I do this for your glory. I pray that as I see, as I speak your words, let it be laid on the table of the heart of men. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Um, what's our topic for today? A thanksgiving art. A heart of thanksgiving. Why is it important for a man to give thanks? To show that you appreciate what God has done for you. You can imagine if um, you, you walk up to, I mean, maybe someone and you ask for a favor. And after that favor is granted, you show a lot of thanksgiving. You 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 show appreciation to it. If matter arise or situations arise, I mean that person will be of open arms to always come back and come true. Heart of gratitude is also when a favor is done to you and you're able to I mean replicate it. You know, show other people what it means like to be thankful. A thankful heart will always receive. A thankful heart, a thankful heart is a blessed heart. Um, God loves thanksgiving. He appreciates it from the bottom of our heart. It just makes him know that we are in love with, I mean, everything that he has done for us. We are of great gratitude of everything that he has done for us. And trust me, thanksgiving, being thankful, also helps you with different phases of life. With friends, with colleagues, I mean, with family, with spouse, it, it, it just it opened it opens unimaginable doors. So I love to indulge. And as I indulge everyone that as I go through this topic, as I break it down, just open your heart so you can receive. And most importantly, at the end of the day, um, round this up with a grateful heart, with a thankful heart, and with a heart of thanksgiving. Ephesians 5:19. It says, speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns, spiritual songs, singing and making melody your heart to the Lord. One of the um, things that made David a man after God's heart was his thanksgiving, his writing of psalms. 
You know, he, was, he, he wrote beautiful songs to God. He acted it out. He danced. As a king, you know, it's always like, ah, oh, why would a king, you know, um, wave his robe around, you know, just feel, dance too freely. But David was that kind of king that would dance and show things and be grateful to God. And trust me, there were times that David could have been persecuted, lost battles, but with the heart of thank, just being thankful to God, singing melodies to God, writing songs for Him. You don't have to be an artist or a musician. There are times that God will do something for you, and you, you know, melodies will come to your heart as regards to the things He has done for you, your own melodies, your own song, because you know exactly where you need to give thanks. Even when these things have happened or not, even when the things you are praying for has happened or not, the job you are seeking, the spouse you are expecting, the joy you are expecting, the breakthrough you are expecting, in need or not in need, in rich or in poor, a thankful heart, it does a lot. It opens doors. He said, when you are praising God, it doesn't have to be, oh, well, let me just praise God today, then tomorrow, that's the end of it. You must praise God always. You must praise God, praise God continually, and you must praise Him in every circumstance, in any kind of circumstance you find yourself. You must praise God. He said, in Numbers 11, 4 to 6, He said, now mixed now the mixed multitude who were among them yielded to intense craving. So the children of Israel also wept again and said, Who oh, will give us meat to eat? We remember the fish which we ate freely in Egypt, the cucumbers, the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, and the onions, and the garlic. But now our whole being is dried up. There is nothing at all except this manner before our eyes. These were the children of Israel lamenting, complaining. Why? Oh, God brought them from the hands of the captive. They found themselves in the wilderness. Where manna, something that was given freely, heaven's food, beautiful snack that they didn't have to toil for or work for. God gave them manna from heaven. So imagine the children of Israel with this manna. They now started complaining, you that you were walking, you, you were under, under the siege of Pharaoh as slaves. Walking, sunrise, sunset, moon, moon, moonrise, moonset, and you now found your place yourself in a place where God was sending food to you for free. So the only thing they were thinking about was the meat that they didn't eat, that they stopped eating, the garlic, the onions. They forgot that they were eating heaven's food. There are so many people in this kind of situation as well. That it, God has done some beautiful things for you, but the only thing that you hold on to is the one He hasn't done for you. It is the time for you to repent because as you step into a new year, which is the year 2022, you have to have a heart of gratitude. You have that gift thanks, and that is when God can look at you and shine His light on you and see that you appreciate the things He has done for you in 2021 by keeping you alive. When you go on the internet, Sometimes you don't even want to open the internet because once you open it, it is one bad news or the other. It is one, it is always, it's filled with lot. I mean, it's filled with depression, sadness, bad news. But you scale through that same year. That is what giving thanks. So the children of Israel, in that time of Moses, they lamented, they frustrated Moses. God was at rage at them that he destroyed the part of their camp with fire. Because our God doesn't like an ing he doesn't he doesn't like an ingra a heart of ingra ingra or ingratitude or, a, or an ungrateful heart. Job 42, verse 6, he said, My ears had heard of you, but now my eyes have seen therefore I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. The devil tested Job. He said, Let me test this guy. Let me just test, let me shake him. You see that this guy will be ungrateful. But when all the news, so many news of Job losing his ox, losing so many things, he tore his clothes and he gave thanks to God. I know it's always, people always say, ah, who does that? 
Ça y est, chez lui, il est. Oh, il ne peut pas être chez lui. Because what the enemy expects you to do is to cry and lament and complain. And with that, the enemy keeps on tightening his rope. But when you show a heart of gratitude, then God knows that, ah, so this person appreciates all the things I've done for him. Then he will fight for you. Because that is what he did exactly for Job. He said, don't touch his life. Because God knew that when there's life, there's hope. And you should know that, that when there's life, there's hope. Our God is not a God of time. He does things at His will. These are the things you need to do away with when it comes to giving thanks. Pride. One of the things that affected the Israelites was pride. Because they were they felt entitled. They forgot what God has done for them in the in the in the land of Egypt. They found themselves in a place where they didn't have to toil. All they had to do is just see God's face. And wait for the time that, if, that, that God grants them access to the Canaan land. Also, that was also based on how much they appreciate God and their faithfulness. And they, because of this, a whole lot of them couldn't see the Canaan land, which was the promised land. Pride. And before every fall, what, what comes first? Pride. Complaining, that is a critical spirit, a spirit that complains. So many people, in good, in bad, it is complaining. Even when things are going fine, it, they complain. And that's a critical spirit. It's a spirit that, I mean, it's almost like an oppressed spirit. This kind of thing can rob you from, you know, it can rob you from, it can, it can cause a separation between you and God. It can also cause a separation between you and men. So it is important to always Try not to complain or lament, even if you find yourself in situations that are beyond your control. Give thanks. Carelessness. The, 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 the children of Israel were careless. You know, they didn't pay attention. They, they, they didn't discern. And because of that, they paid at every price. By losing their camp, some of them were destroyed by fire and also not making the promised land. It is important for us to have a thankful heart. This brings me to the story of Mayflower. I finished from Mayflower Secondary School, Kenne. And trust me, I never even knew deep down, um, I mean, the story behind the Mayflower. But in my study, I realized that Mayflower was like a voyage. It was a journey where pilgrims were heading to Plymouth with the help of a brother, um, Bradford. And their journey was intense. It was like 100 pilgrims. There were storms. That both God destroyed in between. I mean, so many things. I mean, sometimes they had to bring down their sail. Uh, 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 what do they call this thing? The the this this is, is it this? Uh, what helps them in sailing? The boat. So many situations. So many things that happened to them. But one thing that God did for them was that God gave some of them the, the I mean, faith and the heart of thanksgiving. A lot of people didn't survive. That journey but those that survived were able to tell the story this is a story that a whole lot of people still refer to the mayflower because it showed i mean resilience appreciation that regardless of whatever the journey is that if you give thanks to him if you have a thank for that god will help you he will save you through of course a lot of people all of them could have lost their life but God gave a chance for people to be able to tell the story in your journey. Journey of life, most importantly. It is important to have a thankful heart. As we step into 2022, this is my plea to you. You know, please try and be thankful to God. Give thanks to Him always. In any circumstance that you find yourself. Because with that, he will do more. He sees us. And he knows what our needs are. But God wants a heart that appreciates the one he has done for you. He also works like that with humans. People will do more when they see that you appreciate. And in, 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 what, what brings appreciation? When you appreciate something, you, 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 you treat it well. You treat it nicely. If someone gives you a capital, you invest it well, very well if you appreciate it. 
But when it comes from a place of pride or nonchalancy, what happens? You treat it like it's not yours. So my brothers, my sisters, young, old, men, women, 2022 should be a year of thanksgiving, a thankful heart. I love to indulge you that as you hear this word, let it be laid on the table of your heart. Let it bring life, let it bring restoration to you. And my prayer is, Father Lord, this is our prayer, and I want you to pray this prayer after me. Father Lord, grant me the grace and humility to appreciate your timing and miracle. Pray this prayer from the depth of your heart. Father Lord, grant me the grace, the grace, the grace, and also the, the, the humility to appreciate your timing and miracle. Grant us the grace, Father, to appreciate your timing, to appreciate your timing and your miracle, the things you have done in our life and what you are still going to do. Grant us the grace. Father Lord, I pray that these words bring life to the hearts of men, that this shall bring a circumcision to the heart of men, that after hearing this, they will begin to have a thankful heart. They will, be, they will continue to give thanks to you for the things you have done and the things you are yet to do. Thank you for listening. I pray that you have a blessed 2022. It should be a year for you and I of bliss and thanksgiving. Once again, my name is Okwe Mikaude. This is Across the Atlantic Ministry. Shalom. Bye, guys.